shooting guard position at six foot three inches. Number zero, Dante DiVincenzo. Man in the middle at seven foot zero inches. Number 11, Brooke Lopez. The other guard at six foot three inches. Number 21, Drew Holiday. At small forward, at six foot six inches, number 22, Chris Middleton. A six by four from Greece, number 34, Giannis Adetokounmpo. The head coach of your home team is Mike Budenholzer. Once again, your Milwaukee Bucks! Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. And in our matchup tonight, you'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. This is Kevin Harlan, and we've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. And the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. DA, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin. Giroux Holiday is in his eighth season with the Pelicans. He said, I've been here the longest with the possible exception of the security guard. There was a ball boy who was here before me, but now he's one of our coaches. Kevin, he's still all in and trying to help the Big Easy get back to the playoffs. Terrific. David, thanks. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope, and it's Gasol out at the five spot. And for the Bucks, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Lopez in at the five. Greg, obviously, we're early on here. We already have seen some second-year players looking much more improved over their rookie year. I mean, if you put in the work, you're not guessing as much. And listen, the fact that you've now gone through the season, you've got a better sense of who you are and what you can do out on the floor. Uh, I know I cut way back on my turnovers at the start mm. of my second year, and you go into the offseason with specific goals and areas where you want to improve. You think there's more growth between your first and second year than any other two years in your career? It, it, you could make that case, no doubt about it, because that's you're, you're still thinking you can be one of the all-time greats no matter who you are at that stage, and so you tend to put in a little more emphasis in terms of uh, improvement. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ballgame. And there's the pass to LeBron. Schroeder outside. Back to LeBron. Over Middleton. James, no good. Middleton against LeBron. And Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist by Middleton. Can't let Lopez get comfortable down low. The second he does, there's no stopping him. Middleton against James. Passes it to Caldwell Pope. And yes, it's good. And this team looking to get him the ball and get him in rhythm quickly. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Now here's Middleton. He's coming off a 25-point game against Brooklyn. And he wreaked havoc on defense with four steals for the game. And how about the focus in the face of that tight defense? Part of why Middleton can go off for 20-plus on any night. And here's LeBron outside the rebound by the Bucks. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. And you have to love it when there's a matchup like this. Two teams that are at the top of their respective conferences going at it. This is going to be a fun first game between these two squads. Buckle up. Lopez with the steal. Now here's DiVincenzo. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Over Caldwell Pope takes the 12-footer and hits. Lopez has got his second basket of the night. I like this. I really do. He recognizes the mismatch, simply rises up and fires. James against Middleton. 
James outside. Pope loose. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. The raw power of James excels at taking on physical defense and finishing. You know, Steve, one thing you admire about LeBron, how he shapes a possession for his team. He'll create situations where he, he gets a mismatch or, or helps his teammate find one. You know, Kevin, LeBron will use his high screens to just kind of shuffle defenders, make them think. Once he sees an opportunity, he'll pounce all over it. You can see him do this the most at the end of close games. More of a score first point guard, but Schroeder doing a good job of finding the open band. Pass to Holiday. Bucks passing it around. On the wing, DiVincenzo. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. It's three on three on the fast break. Oats it up for Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. Milwaukee leading by three. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Lopez. Middleton outside. There's the feed to Giannis. And Davis sends it back. Good job by AD. Not giving up on the play. Tracking the ball. Blocking the shot. Appreciate the hustle. Steve, one thing I always think of when I watch LeBron, how much fun it must be to be a teammate of his. You know, Kevin, I wish I could have played with a guy like LeBron James. You get so many open looks and easy finishes with him on the court. One of the easiest superstars to play with, bar none. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And to think LeBron in high school was recruited by some D1 colleges to play wide receiver. Boy, what a downfield target he would have been. And both free throws good for LeBron. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Milwaukee. The pass to Anadokounmpo. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Anadokounmpo's got his second bucket of the game to go. Lakers trail by three. LeBron outside. Oh, and here comes Holiday all alone. This is a tough kid. Holiday's fought through injuries. He's a physical player and a fearless player as well. It wasn't that long ago that Holiday suffered some injuries that had people concerned about his future. Greg, some injuries are bad luck. We do know this. Drew Holiday's physical, he's fearless, and he doesn't know any other way to play. But thankfully, he's battled through, and he is still playing at an all-star level. And free throw good from Holiday. Every day, Holiday can be relied upon to bring focus, energy, toughness. And he's a terrific competitor. Los Angeles making a switch here. Harrell's checked in. So he gets them both. Lakers trail by five. James looking it over. And again, the Lakers no good. Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense. And Holiday kicks to Ana de Kumbo. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Ana de Kumbo's got six points. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Ron right side. 
he jams it right over Giannis onto the Kumbo. Wow. And this is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that one. Outside Holiday. Passes it to onto the Kumbo. Over Davis. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. No good from LeBron. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And that's what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on D. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Torrey Craig comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Dante DiVincenzo. And then for the Lakers, Kyle Kuzma's checked in for James. Matthews comes in for Contavious Caldwell-Pope. And it's Alex Caruso in for Dennis Schroeder. Here's Caruso, currently averaging almost six points a game. It's Kuzma penetrating. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Holiday looking over the floor. Pass to Giannis. Fades back and good as it just snugs right down through the net. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Here's Caruso, guarded by Holiday. Here's Harrell. It's rebounded by Portis. Milwaukee leading by five. Craig, good. That's their third straight make off an assist. Lakers have gone six of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here's Caruso. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Davis. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. What a polished move by one of the best bigs in the game. Anthony Davis is just showing off. Here's Antetokounmpo, and Antetokounmpo slams it in. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Bounce pass, Harrell. Here's Davis. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here is Holiday. Five points in the game. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Davis. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. Free throw, good. Giannis. And watching Antetokounmpo get to the rim, can G.A. take your breath away? <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the freak, Superman, what have you. None of it feels like an exaggeration. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Augustine comes in for Drew Holiday. Good on both. Giannis Antetokounmpo has said he doesn't want people calling him the MVP because he doesn't want to relax. He said he fears failure, so he has got to get better. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And Augustine kicks to Crane. The fader. 
And it's good off the glass. Well, Greg, there's been some debate. What do you think? Is Giannis the best player right now in the world? I tell you what, if there's a conversation, he has to be in it. You know, some people might go with Kawhi, Kevin Durant. He's coming back. LeBron James is there as well. But Giannis is probably the guy to lead that conversation. Down to five on the shot clock. But they get it back. Harrell against Anadokounmpo. Harrell dishes to Matthews. Kuzma passes to Morris. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Boy, both teams racking up the points to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Now here is Augustine. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's onto Takumbo. Doesn't go that time. Lakers trail by five. Kuzma with it. Picked up by Portis. Matthews, no one around him. Misses the three. Looking at the last game for Milwaukee, it was a loss to the Nets. Here's Augustine. Caruso grabs the miss. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. The shot's good from Kuzma. Agility and body control. Kuzma using both to his advantage to score on this drive. From deep, Giannis can't hit that one. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Bucks lead by three. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And recently on the subject of trash talking, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this to say. I like to stay locked in to the game and focus on the game and uh, let my, uh, you know, play and my energy and my effort do the target for me. Uh, Greg, as you always say, different guys intimidate in, in different ways. And when you have his level of lift, athleticism and skill, you don't need to say a word. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. Under Jacumbo is out there with Bobby Portis. Then there's D.J. Augustine, and it's Forbes in at the shooting guard position. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. They are just killing them on the interior. Giannis kicks to Augustine. Portis trying to free himself. They get it back. Down it goes. Nice one there from Anadokounmpo. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. Here's Caruso. No points in the game yet for him. That's a two from Matthews. Craig pulls it in. Bucks leading by five. Here's onto Takumbo. No good. Good work defensively by Morris. Kuzma passes to Morris. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Morris has got four points now in the quarter. The Bucks have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Augustine looking around. The pass to Anadokounmpo. Back to Augustine. Three-pointer. Offensive rebound, Bucks. And they double up Giannis. Here's Forbes. The three-pointer, no good. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's Caruso. Just five on the clock. And here's Matthews for the three. 
Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Augustine. It's blocked. Outside Matthews. To the inside. Kuzma against Antetokounmpo. Kuzma kicks to Caruso. Back to Kuzma. Takes a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Coming off that loss against the Nets. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. Yes, the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm. You have to try and match that energy. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Los Angeles calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. platoon swap here for Milwaukee and Los Angeles will go for a different look here Anthony Davis he's checked in for Gasol LeBron comes in for Kyle Kuzma Caldwell Pope he's checked in for Wesley Matthews and Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alex Caruso the shot by Holiday no good I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way I mean they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup and Davis wide open. He shoots, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. I love this from Anthony Davis. His shot is so fluid. Great mechanics off the catch. Such a well-coordinated athlete. Now here is Holiday. He's coming off a 22-point game against Brooklyn. And a foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. What you like about Drew, these hard drives, a physical guard who sometimes invites contact. At the line for two. Two, two. That free throw good from Drew Holiday. So one for two that time at the stripe. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender. Guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. Here's Connaughton. James covering. And the rejection by LeBron. You got to keep an eye out for LeBron. He may be lurking. What a block that one was. That's good from Caldwell Pope on the assist by Schroeder. Caldwell Pope's got his second bucket of the night. Milwaukee's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a 1-1 -one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical. Gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Los Angeles. And finished off by Davis. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Bounce pass, Holiday. 
Passes it to Connaughton. And the Bucks miss again. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Schroeder. And down it goes, jamming that one home. There's a certain electricity to Schroeder's game, this time with the statement finish. Schroeder against Holiday. Pass to Middleton. Over Davis. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Here's Schroeder. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. I'll tell you, Schroeder's a tough kid. You see the added strength. We'll see if he can complete the and one. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And, and you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Harrell, he's checked in for the Lakers. One shot. good from Schroeder. Middleton with it. He's someone who's a factor on any given night, averaging more than 22 points a game. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. 